The Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I want to apologise. I know that millions of people across this country have made extraordinary sacrifices over the last 18 months. I know the anguish that they have been through, unable to mourn their relatives, unable to live their lives as they want or to do the things they love. And I know the rage they feel with me and with the government I lead when they think that in Downing Street itself the rules are not being properly followed by the people who make the rules. And though I cannot anticipate the conclusions of the current inquiry, I have learned enough to know that there were things we simply did not get right. And I must take responsibility. Number 10 is a big department with the garden as as an extension of the office, which has been in constant use because of the role of fresh air in stopping the virus. And when I went into that garden just after six on the 20th of May 2020 to thank groups of staff before going back into my office 25 minutes later to continue working, I believed implicitly that this was a work event. But Mr Speaker, with hindsight, I should have sent everyone back inside. I should have found some other way to thank them. And I should have recognised that even if it could be said technically to fall within the guidance, there would be millions and millions of people who simply would not see it that way, people who suffered terribly, people who were forbidden from meeting loved ones at all, inside or outside. And to them and to this House, I offer my heartfelt apologies. And all I ask is that Sue Gray be allowed to complete her inquiry into that day and several others so that the full facts can be established. And I would, of course, come back to this House and make a statement. Mr Speaker, this morning I had meetings with ministerial colleagues and others. In addition to my duties in this House, I shall have further such meetings later today. Dr James Davies. He's not apologised, Mr Speaker, for breaking the rules and breaking the law, he's sorry because he's been caught. Yeah. He is bang to rights. Yeah. So when my constituents were making unimaginable, unimaginable decisions, he was hosting a boozy party in Downing Street. So how does he think he can still maintain the one rule for him and another for the rest of us? Yeah. He cannot and he must resign. Yeah. Uh, Mr Speaker, I refer to the answer I gave earlier on. Peter Ball. 